Um, this morning it's a skinny latte, but uh, all coffees and glory jeans are good, but I went for a skinny latte today. Yeah, it was a uh, very tough draw, but you know, you've got to come to expect that we're going to draw the big teams now in Asia. It's, um, it's always going to be tough, and with San Freche, the Japanese team, they've been champions two years in a row. We drew FC Seoul, which is a massive club in Korea, and uh, it looks like if Beijing get through their, their qualifying games, will be them as well, you know, it's um, three very big teams, but you know, we just have to make sure that our home form is good in Asia, and then hopefully steal something away from home. Yeah, it's, um, you know, as a footballer and a professional, you always want to test yourself against a better, better opposition and, and big teams, and to have the chance to do that, you know, in the uh, in our fourth time in the competitions, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, we, uh, you know, when we go away from home, we're up against big budgets and big players. You know, I know that San French have got one player worth more than their whole salary cap. So when you come against players like this and be able to test yourself, and the young boys see how good you have to be to make it a broad, uh, really good challenge. Yeah, it just started a couple of years ago when you know, I thought maybe bringing a young boy to the Central Coast and let him see what life is as, as a Mariner. Um, so they can experience you know, being a professional footballer. They got to come, uh, watch training, sometimes join in. You know, they trained with the academy team. They got billeted out to you know, wonderful families on the coast. And, People that took care of them like they were their own kids. Uh, you know, they trained uh, with the under 18 academy. They went to the international football school, the Mariners football school. Um, and they just got to see what life was like on the coast and that there is a pathway for footballers. You know, it's um, my hometown of Morwell, it's a bit broken at the moment, the pathway. And uh, I just want to make them believe and make them dream and make them have that dream to be a professional footballer and do something that they love. And if I can bring them up here for a week and just show them that there, you know, there is a professional football and they, you know, they can dream big and hopefully dream bigger than the Mariners then so be it but um, you know, just bring him here, let him see what it's like for a week, the boys look after him, you know, they, the boy that was just up recently got some boots off the, off the first team players, they got to walk out as a mascot, he got to train with John Crawley in the first team so you know, I think it's uh, great for him and he'll go home and tell his friends and hopefully his friends will dream big as well. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we've got a good record against Adelaide and we, we tend to play really well at Highmarsh. It's, um, it's going to be a big game for us, so you know, we know they want to keep possession and you know, if we turn the ball over like we did against Melbourne Victory, it's going to be a, a very tough game. But if we can uh, replicate our Sydney form, we should be doing very well. You know, it's, uh, I thought that was our best game of the season, the way we kept the ball, the way we, we played when we had the ball and our movement off it and the way we defended. You know, it's good to keep a clean sheet of, at Blue Tongue and, and get the three points again. And I thought that we owed our fans a big game. But, you know, it's going to be a tough one against Adelaide. They have some very good players. They're playing uh, good football at the moment. So we have to be on our game. No, I think it's uh, probably a false position at the moment. You know, they're trying to play a new brand, a new coach. And you know, sometimes that takes time. You can see that the last two, three weeks their performances have been really good. They just haven't been getting the results. And I think once they start getting the results and their confidence kicks in and they believe in the structure and what the coach is trying to do, I think um, you'll see Adelaide climb into the top six. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit weird, you know. We um, obviously love playing all our home games at Blue Tongue. Um, you know, we've got a pretty good record at Blue Tongue, so to be able to play there is great, but you know, North Sydney Oval will be a great experience. It's, um, you know, as I said, the old school stadium. And to go down there and take football back to North Sydney would be uh, a great opportunity, and hopefully, the club can benefit from it. Our members that are down there can come along and watch, um, and don't have to drive up the, up the freeway. So, you know, I know we're looking forward to it, and hopefully, we get the, the three points that are required that night. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty special, you know, it's, um, they've got the hill on one side of the field and uh, I remember playing there in front of 15,000 people and I pretty jammed in and it was an incredible noise and, you know, we used to love walking out to the big crowd and all that and uh, they were the good days with Northern Spirit, there's obviously the dark days, but um, when the good days were there and the people rolled in and watched us play, it was a, a special time, you know, and the noise they used to make was fantastic and hopefully the Mariners fans can get down there and support the boys and, make, and try to get us across the line. Great memories, you know, I remember uh, one season in North Sydney Oval when we were coming last around Christmas time. 
and we had 10 games left and we went on this amazing run and we had so many home games and I remember playing a Friday night and we ended up making the top six and uh, you know, the, the big crowds we used to get down there at North Sydney Oval you know, and we used to play a lot of Friday night football and it's a great place to play football. Uh, the one down point was the cricket pitch through the middle but what a place, you know, and what the old school uh, stadiums and you know, the, the fans were right there and it was an unbelievable time. Yeah, look, it is a big game, but you know we we at the Mariners always have a thing, a game at a time. You know, and, um, first we have to conquer this big trip to Adelaide and make sure that we're focused on that, and then we we'll switch our attention to the next game. But it's, uh, you know, it is nice having a game in hand, but the problem with that is the other team's already got the points and we're still chasing. So you know we need to make sure that we're focused uh, on the Adelaide foremost, and then move forward to the next game after that. But we can pick up six points in the next couple of games and that will boost us straight up the ladder. Thank you mate and cheers to Gloria Jeans.